particular game that proceeded to run around with the football in the closing seconds of the game and I always thought over the years that I wondered if that crazy quarterback realized how dangerous he was uh, dappling with uh, Kennedy's fate that day. I'm assuming he knew, uh, but I understand it was a joyous occasion and uh, so that was the one thing that really stood out in my mind. It was a celebratory thing and it was also kind of a dangerous thing I thought that you get tackled in the end zone, you fumble the ball, it's a different outcome and how close that came. Um, the aforementioned quarterback remains anonymous. <laughs> After the game was the biggest thing because our our bus broke and we couldn't uh, we didn't have any transportation back so I had to walk over the little bridge and go to the BART station guy and say look I've got like 50 players here we're in football uniforms can I just give you like fifty dollars to get us all on BART so we can get our way back to to Richmond and, and they allowed us on BART and I mean that was like the good news the bad news was that Every time on the way back home that the BART pulled into a station, we threw people off the BART train. The, the, player, the players wanted it to be their, their BART ride home. And so 
we were throwing old ladies and, and, and people with their shopping bags and everybody was getting thrown out of the BART station so we had our own our own BART ride back home and uh, and then we got back and we started walking down Cutting Boulevard and people were coming out of their houses because they heard all this noise and it, and it was like the Pied Piper we were leading all these people right down Cutting Boulevard uh, onto, onto campus and then I can remember being in the coach's office with school board members and administrators and there was parties going on out in the parking lot and uh, and when I came back to school on Monday the parking lot was such a mess that they made me take my first and second period class outside and clean up all the bottles of alcohol and uh, other uh, devices that people use that were on the ground uh, but you know it was all worth it but uh, you know I don't know how many people get to go through that experience but it was it was it was pretty fun For the most part, man, that, that, that was an awesome feeling. Um, I think for the community, um, it kind of dispelled the myth for a while in terms of counting us as young men of color, um, young minority students for the most part, it counted us out, um, even academically. But I, 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 you know, I think it was, it was, it was great for the community. Um, you know, I don't, think, I don't think high school sports will never be uh, what it was back, you know, in the, in the mid to late 80s. Uh, I, I don't think it ever reached that plateau again. I mean, it was a really special time and special time in high school sports, I thought, and I was, you know, fortunate to be part of it. I felt like I was really fortunate to be part of it. Um, for the people that I met, the people, people in places that I was able to go and see the things I was able to do, so I always felt very special about it, but it was, like I said, it was a different era then, and it does feel like 25 years, frankly. <laughs> My legacy, I hope, uh, is over a long period of time, not just one game, where I've tried to uh, uh, demand excellence and commitment and players to be accountable. I always believed in discipline, James can can vouch for this, you know, and uh, everything will come out all right. Sometimes you might not win, I would tell my player, but if you gave it all you've had, or what you had, you gave it 100%, then you can look yourself in the mirror. So I hope my legacy is, I, as a coach, I cared about my players and I did a job throughout my whole career, not just you know, one football game. I'm real proud of, of everybody who's taken part in this production because all of you are part of part of our community, and uh, and you guys through this are giving hope to uh, people. I mean, it, these young people probably don't even know that, that this game was even played, and uh, you know, especially for Kennedy right now. You know, they had to forfeit their game last night because they didn't have enough players. And to think that they can't even feel the team right now at Kennedy, and yet we're talking about people who went to Kennedy, who played in the Oakland Coliseum in a championship game. I mean, what a paradox. And uh, the only way to get it turned around is to continue, that, that all of you continue to do things like this to let them know that they can do it.